Hi, my name is Hugo Flores Garcia, and I'm here to present our work VampNet, Music Generation via Masked Acoustic Token Modeling. State-of-the-art audio generation approaches consist of two stages. During the first stage, a residual VQVAE is trained to encode and decode continuous audio signals into a compressed sequence of discrete tokens, which we'll refer to as acoustic tokens. During the second stage, a language model is trained to generate sequences of these acoustic tokens, which can later be detokenized back into a continuous audio signal. We'll be focusing on the second stage, acoustic token modeling. Previous work in acoustic token modeling leverages autoregressive methods to generate acoustic token sequences. Autoregressive methods generate one token per inference step using a predict the next token approach. While this method is known to generate high quality token sequences, it requires many inference steps and can only look into the past when generating token sequences. This reduces the out of the box applications of autoregressive models to continuation of a prompt. There are several other applications that a musician might care about, like being able to create a smooth transition between two songs, or vamp on a particular section while keeping the overall structure, or to create a mashup between two music tracks. Autoregressive models can't do any of these techniques out of the box because by design, they are only able to look into the past for context. Enter VampNet. Instead of modeling tokens autoregressively, VampNet uses a technique called mass token modeling to attend to all tokens in a bidirectional manner and can generate acoustic tokens with as little as 36 sampling steps using a sampling technique known as iterative parallel decoding. Due to this flexible masking approach, VampNet can be prompted in many ways. For example, we can prompt VampNet by taking some input music unmasking every 13th time step and then generating the rest. Alternatively, we can use a beat tracker to locate all the beats in a song and only unmask the tokens at the beat. and then have Vampna generate the rest. Or we can interleave tokens from two different songs. And have Vampna generate a mashup of the two songs. VampNet can be used as an interactive music co-creation system using Unloop, a generative looper that doesn't repeat itself. To wrap it up, we presented VampNet, a music generation approach that enables a range of applications based on prompting music with more music, making it an excellent tool for interactive music co-creation. We highly encourage you to listen to many more audio examples, co-created loops, fine-tuned models, and more by checking our paper and website. Thank you.